Good morning and welcome back children. Today I have come with a very interesting topic that you have never learnt before. And the topic is dresses we wear. Now children, this is a very interesting topic. I know that because you all love to dress up and you all love to wear new clothes. So this topic is about dresses we wear, types of clothes and the clothes we get from sources. There are many types of sources from where we get our clothes and we are also going to learn about the uniforms that people wear like policemen wear a different uniform, nurses wear a different uniform, doctors wear a different uniform. So we are going to learn the dresses we wear in detail. So now let's get started. We wear different types of clothes, right? When we go to a party, we wear beautiful and gorgeous dresses. Similarly, when we go to school, we wear uniforms. So let us learn them in detail. We wear clothes for the following reason. We wear clothes to cover our body. It protects us from heat, cold and rain. It also protects us from dirt and dust. Clothes make us look smart. We wear different types of clothes in different seasons. In summer, we wear cotton clothes because it keeps our body cool. Some examples of cotton clothes that we wear in summer are short pants, t-shirt, frocks and many more things. We get cotton clothes from cotton plants. Now let us see the clothes that we wear in winter. In winter we wear warm clothes which keep our body warm. Some examples are sweaters, mufflers, gloves, caps, socks and many more things. And we get woolen clothes from the hair of the sheep. Now what do we wear in rainy season? During rainy season, we wear raincoats, gum boots, carry umbrellas to protect us from the rain. Now let us have a look on the things we carry and wear on rainy days. Raincoats and umbrellas are made of waterproof material. Now children, you have seen the different types of clothes that we wear in different season. Now we are going to see the different types of fibers. Now what is fibers? Fibers are things which is used to make clothes. Or you can also say clothes is also known as fibers as it is made out of it. So we have two types of fibers. Number one. Natural fiber. Number two, man-made fiber. Now let us see a few examples of natural and man-made fibers. Let us see the picture of natural fibers. We get natural fibers from plants and animals. Example of some natural fibers are cotton, wool and silk. Now look at the pictures carefully of natural fibers. Now let us see about man-made fibers. Man-made fibers are made by man. Some examples are nylon, rayon, etc. So you can see few pictures of the man-made fibers. Look at them carefully. Now children, when you go to a school, you wear a special dress, right? So the special clothes are also known as uniforms. Now let us have a look on the pictures of people wearing different uniforms. Can you see? We have pilot, police, nurses and doctors. Now can you see if your children are wearing their school uniform also? Now I have one more example for you. Can you see? Yes, 
it is the school uniform of which school it is of our school it is griffin's international school's uniform now children you must keep in mind that the school uniform of all the schools are not the same each school have their own different type of uniforms we have learned so many things about dresses we wear in which season and the sources from where we get our clothes now children you must also know how to take care of your clothes we must keep our clothes in proper place wash your clothes nicely keep woolen clothes in good sunlight because it kills germs so children i hope you have learned and enjoyed this video very much i will meet you soon in my next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself and thank you children bye bye